Hey people, what's up? It's Jamil. And I just want to tell people some more about how you're going to grind through game stalking. And it's grind after grind after grind after grind. And for those of you who don't know what grind is, it's like a strive. Like you strive through something, you go through it, you get through it. Okay, when I first started being game stalked, a lot of things were effective. Like cars follow me. I mean, anything the game stalking program used, it seemed, it seemed at, least, at least effective enough for me to notice it. Now what's happened is it's like the, everything they, they put on me... It's 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 like water. It, it doesn't. It's like I don't even feel it. Like if I have cars follow me, or a lot of times what they use, they like to use. If you go somewhere, they'll have that same uh, same two cars come in like at the same time or something like that. The people who who strategize behind gang stock, I guess they've come up with tactics that actually would frustrate the average person. You see, the the reason why a lot of people never actually beat gang stock is because they're afraid of this stuff. You have to grind through it. You have to grind through it. And you have to grind through it. What was successful for me is I didn't have a car. I still don't have a car. <laughs> and so I had to walk everywhere. I still walk everywhere. I, I actually prefer to walk. I, there's people I could call, but I'd rather just walk. And so by me having to walk, I had to deal with this stuff over and over and over and over and over again to the point to where now it just, it's like it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, 110%, no matter what, everything the program has to offer now is like, it just feels like leftovers. It doesn't feel like anything. I mean, the only the only thing I get off on now is like if they put if, the only thing I get off on now is they 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 get these really like sexy. <laughs> I don't try, you know they, they get like these badass fucking chicks, man. Excuse my language, but and they and like they put them out there and like they have them follow me. I mean that's cool. Like I'm with that. Like that's the only thing that really grabs my attention. It's just like with cars with lights. Or like even the helicopter is like it's cool. It's like it's okay. It's cool, but it's just like you don't really feel it anymore. And I was talking about a limo, and I don't. I was talking to somebody on the phone about it, and then they used the limo against me. Like they they had a limo, but when I was walking on the street, they had the limo come from like way way down there. And there's a street called Heil Street, and it runs to the street called Old Grand Haven, or in the neighborhood of the area I live at. And so they had it going down the old Grand Haven. I'm coming, I'm on the sidewalk on Heil, and so I see it. I'm like, I'm like, damn it, that, that's, that's still, you know what I mean? The, the, the program did that, and so I'm, I'm just looking at it. I'm like, I want to see it closer, and that's what they knew. They knew I wanted to see the limo closer. Um, there's a lot of other things. There's a lot of other things like your phone echoing. Like there's this chick I talk to sometimes. I can hear myself echoing in the phone, and I actually think it's cool because like special effects. And it's just like, I guess the concept behind that is like, we want you to know we're listening to you. And I'm like, I know you're listening to me. The phone doesn't have to echo for you to listen to me. But then I enjoy the echo. And I I don't even end up telling the girl about it. I just, I just go, well, she knows all about the gang stock and stuff. But I don't tell her about the echo because I like hearing myself echo on the phone. And so I'll be saying stuff just to hear the echo. I'm like, I'm like damn, I wonder if I say this. Well, it'll sound like what it echoes. And it'll echo. I'm like, you know what I mean? And it's cool. And so, a lot of people go through gang stalking now. There's like literally a few million people. I mean, way more than that probably worldwide. They go through gang stalking. And the most I've ever seen is somebody write a book under like an anonymous name trying to explain it. And there's people who, who do lectures and stuff saying how you're going to beat it, how you're going to survive it. But they make it so like you have to compete with the gang stalkers or become a gang stalker yourself. I'm like, I'd be damned if I'm going to walk around like, Filming every little thing with a camera and stuff. I mean, that's not me. I, I beat it. I, I can get you through it. I can help you grind through it and beat it just by going through it. And you become a better person. It's your experience of it. You have to change the way you view it. You have to change the, the, your experience of gang stalking. I mean, gang stalking has turned me into such a better person. How could I not beat it? Without gang stalking, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have evolved. And so, I mean, I'm actually thankful for it. If I could, go, if I could take it back, I wouldn't. It was like the best thing, you know, his best thing since pancakes. And so that, that's just one thing I want to tell people about, man. You know? And, uh, it, I mean, it's just so interesting. Like, the things I've experienced and the places I've gone. And it's just like, I don't know. It, 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 it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. And, and so I just got to be thankful for that. And so for people who, who are just going through gang stalking, it just like, Again, grind after grind after grind. Just keep going back out there. Keep going outside. Keep interacting with people. Keep doing stuff. Now, the area I live at, I don't really care too much because, like, pretty much everybody in the area has been around me for years, and so it's just not really, like... I mean, everybody's cool, but, you know, it's not really exciting. 
It's like I like to go to other areas and just like tear stuff up. Like go to some area I've never been to and just run through it. You know what I mean? And, and, and so, you know, that's one thing you do. is like when you go to a new area, the gang stalking program will follow you and set and like pay people off and set stuff up. So you just got to, when you go to a new area, you just automatically got to mash through it. Like I just run up on people and just tell them who I am. And I, don't, I mean, I don't run up on them like that, but you go up to them, you let them know everything about you, who you are, your name and stuff like that. And you, you just get into it. You just get into it with them. And you build like a bond and you just keep moving and moving like that. And so pretty much everything the gang stalker people can influence, you'll be able to influence. And they pay people money, so you bring money. Like you bring opportunity. Like I look at myself as a hero, man. Like I bring money to people. I bring opportunities to people. I bring new lives to people. Like people don't even know me, but they'll never forget me and, I've, and I'll forget them. You see what I'm saying? Like people, people know me. They know I'm being gang stalker. They'll know what's going on. And they'll, they'll see me, some people even see me on YouTube, they'll do this. I mean, people will never forget me, but I won't even know who they are. And so that's part of the glory is like now I'm famous. See what I'm saying? And so, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's cool. I don't know how to, I don't know how to better explain it. I, I really don't. But, you know, it's just like the summer um, is going pretty good. It's just like I've just been exercising a lot of stuff, getting into focus, getting deeper into meditation, and just like, the summer really hasn't began for me. I haven't really started going anywhere or anything. I just I just been hanging around, just you know, f focusing on my spirituality, my psychology, and my physicality and all that stuff. And so, you know, I like I still network with people. I talk to people on the phone. So, so pretty soon, you know, I'm gonna be out there getting active and stuff. But right now, I'm just kind of like hanging around, you know, focusing on helping people, getting emails. I get emails. I respond. You know, I try to help people through it. Some people are in severe cases from gang stalking. You'd be surprised. Like, some people are, are like, really bad shape. And that's one of the benefits of me is I know I'm helping people. I know, like, I'm literally saving people's lives. And so that's, that's given me, like, you know, a lot of ambition and a lot of courage. It's like I know I'm doing things that's improving people's lives. And I know this is a path that's going to lead me to success no matter what. I mean, like I said before, man, I just know I just envision myself. on. I keep seeing that in my mind. I keep seeing my... Every time I'm laying back chilling, I'll just see myself. I, I can see myself right now. Like I'm on stage, and I got a microphone and stuff like that, and I'm just up there, just talking to people, talking to people, telling about my experience, telling about everything. Not just people showing up for the gang stalking thing, but my experience. See, the gang stalking program is like worldwide, right? And it hasn't really grabbed the attention of the world like it should. And as time moves on, as the ball moves on, the gang, the pressure of gang stalking, coming more out. Well, it'll just blow up, and then when it blows up, then I'm gonna be right there, like, yeah, I told you, know, I was the only person who really ever beat it, blah blah blah. And see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ready to put the books. I'm ready to talk to people, go on radio shows. You know what I'm saying? Put me on television. You know, what I mean, give me a movie on Lifetime. Give me a movie on Warner Brothers. It sounds, it sounds, it sounds so far out, man. But I see myself. I just see myself on stage, just talking about it, just telling people about my story, about all the conspiracy research I went through, everything I experienced. I just see myself like setting up classes for people, people buying books for me, people buying pamphlets for me. I see myself just telling people what to do. Like I see myself traveling a lot, man, like going to Hawaii, going to all these different places, going to South America, going to Europe, going to Asia, going to Africa, going to islands out there. I see myself doing all this stuff based on my experiences, my experience of what I went through, to, through the conspiracy to get to gang stalking. And that's what I'm grinding for right now. Before I didn't have that vision, I didn't have that why. Now I got it, and it's like there's nothing, there's nothing in the middle, there, there's nothing there. That's the only thing I care about. I don't care about, I, you know, what I'm saying I, I don't have any children. I don't, I don't have, I don't have anything. I don't even have, I don't have a dog, cat, you know, girlfriend, none of that stuff. I just live with my mother, and all my energy and all my time is just invested in, into into perfecting my craft, just beating on it constantly. I mean, when people email me and they need to talk to me about gang stuff, I'm just right there. I'm just like, man, I know what you're going through. I know everything about what you're going through. I don't ask them for anything. I don't want to ask anybody for anything. I want people to benefit from my experience. That's all I want is people to benefit from my experience. That's it. You know, what you take away from it is on you, but benefit from my experience. You know what I mean? Benefit from this experience and learn what goes on out there. Even if you're not being gang stalked, you can still benefit from the experience. And so it's just like this. I know where I'm at in my life right now. It, you know, from here on out, it's just gonna blossom and get better and better and better and better, and it's manifesting quickly. 
I mean, it's manifesting quick, more quickly than I thought it would. And so, it's just like, uh, you know what I mean? It's just like, I'm just ready, man. I'm just ready. You know what I mean? I, I keep seeing myself on stage, you know, with a microphone, just talking to people. Just, just chopping on people and, and, and putting it down, man. Just grinding. Gr grind after grind after grind after grind. You know? It's gonna, I see it. It's coming into manifestation. I know it is. I can feel it. I can feel it manifesting right now.